hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that post notification bell so that you are notified every single time I do an upload and you're not tardy to the party. So today I'm just gonna give you guys a quick rundown of what I have done downstairs in our Seattle home for the holidays. So I haven't done a whole lot, but I definitely bought some additional pieces this year to help make the house more Christmassy overall. Um, that is one of the tips that I gave you guys on one of my first Decorate With Me vlogs for the holidays. I don't go out and buy a whole shit ton of stuff at one time because it definitely kills the budget. You definitely wanna make sure you have room for a Christmas present and Dakota wants her presents, believe me. So every year I kind of add on to my inventory. Um, you guys have already seen my Christmas tree. I showed that to you guys how I decorated that in an entirely separate vlog. So if you have not seen that yet, definitely go ahead and check it out. We already have a few gifts under the tree, but that is how it came out. And I will have the tree decor video linked in the description box for you guys if you are interested. And then next to the tree, I have my mantle, which I put together with you guys on one of the last vlogs. I have Kelvin and I stockings, and then the coldest is the smaller one in the middle. And then I just added this velvet bow using some ribbon. And I let the ribbon go all the way down to the floor. I love how that gave it just a little bit of drama, but kept it simple, because we do have a lot going on. And then I have this Merry Christmas mantle up here, which is holding our stockings on. And I will have this whole setup here linked for you guys on my Like to Know It page, if you are interested in purchasing any of that. And then over here, next to the Christmas tree, is our dining room area. Dakota's getting her a drink out of the fridge. Wanna say hi? hi. <laughs> so this is our dining room area. I kept it pretty simple, guys. I guess this vlog will kind of double as kind of like a home update tour so you can see what I've been working on. As you can see, the paint color in the house has totally changed from when you guys last saw it. It was like this, I hate to say ugly, but I really do hate the whole tan khaki vibe in the, in the house. So I painted the whole house white. You guys will eventually see upstairs our Anyways, back to the holiday decor. So uh, we have this huge Atlanta picture here, over here on the wall in the dining room. And this is like our little piece of home. And then I have our dining room table, which is not the table that I wanted, but my husband happened to invite his a boss and um, his one of his partners that work over for dinner and we didn't have a dining room table. I'll show you the area we have that we typically eat at. And because of COVID, everything was backed up. There was no way I was gonna be able to get a table in the time frame that I needed. And I ran into this store down um, in Tequila actually by South Center Mall and they had um, where you can get anything on the floor. So I ended up getting this table, it's very sturdy. I, I do love it. It wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but um, I love the table overall. And so on the table, I kept it simple with a houndstooth runner. And then I have this faux Christmas tree centerpiece, which just gives it like the rustic vibes. And then each table setting has a gold charger with a white and silver plate a black and white napkin, and then a rustic napkin holder. And then that rustic napkin holder ties in with this rustic in the centerpiece. And that is how that looks, guys. Over in front of the table, we have our bar, which was originally in Hubby's Man Cave in Atlanta. I did definitely have plans on doing red in the house this year. So back when we were in Atlanta, I definitely had decided that I wanted to do red in the house this year for Christmas. I didn't think we would be actually moving, but we ended up moving. So I wanted to keep the whole house, our house, the whole house is pretty much like neutral, black, tans, golds, silvers, browns, that type of vibe. So I wanted a pop of red somewhere. I got these gorgeous um, flowers out of Trader Joe's. They were like $5.99 and they were perfect for that pop of red, as well as my Santa Claus that is over here. And then over here next to the bar area, I have a mini fridge that was also in Hubby's Man Cave and we pretty much just keep this stocked with a lot of drinks that we will use to mix our beverages as well as the Dakota's juices. 
and then over on our couch I have a few different pillows to bring in some festive cheer I do have a slight obsession with pillows um, as you can see here but this is my new one from this year the other one I had last and then this is the last one that I've also had for some time now So next up on the agenda is the kitchen Again, I didn't do a lot, but I definitely have my touch of holiday cheer in here. For the back of my bar stools, I added this super cute wreath that I showed you guys in my previous vlog when I was decorating. And I did link those on my Like to Know It for those of you who were interested. They were just $10 a piece and they were easy to hang using command hooks that I just put back here on the back of the chairs. And then this is how the wreaths look. Super cute. And it is flopped. The next thing I have in my kitchen to give a little bit of holiday cheer is this super cute decor piece here. So it's pretty much two Christmas trees that I found in Home Goods that are sparkled. And then I have a unicorn, or, or not a unicorn y'all, a reindeer next to it that matches the same sparkle decor. And then I have this candle that was gifted to us um, sitting up here. And then if you go towards the back side of the kitchen, I added in just a few touches of things. Our little coffee area over here, babe has these to-go cups um, that just say, tis the season, so he can take his coffee to go when he makes it in the morning before work. And then over here where I have my collection of cutting boards, I added this snowflake one that says, let it snow. And then down here underneath where my cutting boards are in the stove, I have these Christmas uh, napkin that says, we wish you a Merry Christmas on this one. And then hope and faith. And then this is what the situation looks like right now. It will definitely be changing after the holidays. This is just as good as I was able to get it. And I had gotten the habit of buying flowers weekly. And so this was actually the last bouquet that I bought from Pike Place. It's actually a dried arrangement, which I thought was perfect for fall. So this one's just kind of been um, sitting there since then. And I thought it was super cute with how this looks. This has, um, it's this cute little thing that says peace. And then I have another snowman. I actually just got started on my front porch, but right now I just have this uh, fresh wreath that I found at Home Depot um, during Black Friday for 15 bucks. And then I have this cute little um, cranberry arrangement that I found at Costco. And I want to get a rug as well as replace my mom's from the fall with two huge Christmas tree lights. So once the front porch is done, you guys will be able to see that on Instagram. I'll post a picture once I get that all complete. But this wreath, I see why you guys, whoever buys um, real Christmas trees, I can definitely see why you buy them because this smells so freaking good. We typically park in the garage and come in that door, but sometimes I'll leave the garage door up and come in the front door just so I can get a, a whiff of that. It's starting to die down a little bit, but it smells so good, y'all. So definitely worth checking out if you have a fake tree and want to get that Christmas tree smell. Hey guys, so it is later on in the evening. Um, I know the video ended, but I figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys with us. Um, maybe for the weekend, we have quite a few holiday things planned. So, tonight we are in our matching jammies. <laughs> and we are about to make her gingerbread house. I grabbed this out of Target. I think it was like eight or nine bucks. And we're about to get started on decorating it. We have her pieces over here. We have the decor candy that it came with. Um, and right now I'm just making the icing. So stay tuned to see how it looks. Also wanted to let you guys know that I finally started Dakota her own Instagram page. Her name is Miss Dakota Blue. And I'm sure she would appreciate it if her designer aunties and uncles would help her at least get to her first 100 followers on Instagram. So please go and follow my baby. Again, her name is Miss Dakota Blue. And I'll have it linked up here for you guys to see. Alright y'all, so this gingerbread house did not cooperate as good as last year. This was a complete disaster. Hi guys. Oh how I got bit a boy and Bubba. So as you were later on, see we got the house together. It fell apart twice. Dakota didn't want me to help her decorate. So the house definitely came out looking like it belonged in 2020. So I left my um, camera at home 
but we are about we found a spot that has Santa so we're gonna I'm gonna try to take her to see Santa Coda is down here Hi. <laughs> probably put her mask on her after she takes her picture with um, Santa so Are you going to be in the picture with no, us no, here no. this year? Okay. So we'll have you get her right there on that bench situated how you wanted. Okay. Perfect. You tell Santa what you want for Christmas. You got to stand right here. How are you? Say good. What do you want for Christmas? <laughs> huh? You know what? One of my favorite all time pictures was that the little girl with pink nails. We're going to take a really great photo. You and me, okay? I can see your big smile. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. You ready for your picture? Are you ready to break some hearts? Alrighty. Where you gonna sit down on the bench? You wanna sit on the bench? Can she stand if she wants? Or you wanna sit? You wanna sit? Okay, we'll sit. Sit, down. sit. Back on that red dot right there. Put your hands in your lap and put one over there to like Perfect. Give me a big smile again. You gotta look at the camera over here, Kaboo. Nice, good job. Wanna give me a thumbs up? Big smile. There we go. video so if you have not subscribed please go ahead and do so down below make sure you hit your post notification bell so that you are notified every single time i do an upload i hope that you guys found some type of info for inspo for this to get you guys on your journey to decorating your house and as i said previously a lot of people have beautiful homes for the holidays but i can guarantee that me myself how i work my decor in is that i that basically like i said i buy a few signature pieces every year to add to my decor i'm not going out and buying a whole bunch of stuff at one time because i'm not breaking budget you know you want to stay on budget with those type things so i'm um, definitely take that into mind when you are starting off with your decor if you saw my very first decorate with me video i had this little cute little tree that i had got on clarence the prior year year from Target and then I had that tree for two or one two two years and then I finally upgraded to the actual nine foot flock tree that I wanted and I've now this is my second year using that and so next year I want to get a 12 foot one I mean I don't know if we're going to be in this house or another house but we definitely our entryway has a huge area for that will be perfect for a 12 foot tree so um if I can catch one on sale at the end of this year that is in the plans and um yeah so definitely take your time with decorate and don't feel the pressure to rush and buy out a whole bunch of stuff because you see people with all these gorgeous homes I'm sure they built that stuff up over the years as well um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a happy holidays and I will see you guys on the next vlog.